Welcome back to another video. I am Gold Raven, and this one is on the newest update that just hit the game. So when you first get into the game, you are going to be notified that there is a new level up system. And this is a pretty cool system. I'm going to be showing you that in a moment. But first, if you are maxed level or if you are above level four, you are going to be finding some treasure chests. So head over here and you're going to find, look at us, look at all those treasure chests. And I have not purchased any. This is all given to me for free. Now, this is not part of your daily chest. You still get your daily. In fact, let me just check mine right now. Ooh, nice. And demon hunter belt very cool so now these temporarily do not take up any inventory space now i have 91 slots available i mean full out of 100 and i know some of you are asking how did i get 100 inventory i was a kickstarter now if you are a guardian you do get some extra slots and if you're a dragon guardian you get even more slots and if you are a Kickstarter, you get even more slots. So to get access to these, you just got to click on it. And then you can proceed to open all of your things. Dragon crystals. Now this is always a very good thing. And treasure shards. Why not? That's better than some of the other stuff I get. And then you get some shadow elf gloves. Now I'm not going to show you every single thing I get, but I am going to open up some of these because see what I got because sometimes you get some really good stuff 13 I'm getting a lot of dragon crystals right there and see this is a good thing now if you couple your dragon crystals from that you're collecting with the dailies now if you did already know there are methods of getting dragon crystals for free if you did not see my video on that I'll put a link in the top right corner you can go and check that video out I'm getting some really good stuff here but see, this is the key right here. Getting dragon crystals always helps. You accumulate that, and then you can go and get a bank vault if you are running out of room, which causes a problem when you have lack of inventory or lack of other stuff. These are one of my favorite travel forms. Whoa, I love those. I created a brand new account just so I could show you the new level up system that they got in place. So upon leveling up, you're going to first notice that there is a whole new animation. It looks really good. And that little icon you see that pops up the second time, not where it says leveled up, but right after that where it shows what level you hit, this is visible to everybody. Anybody who sees you in the lobby will see that above your head. Now you also get this little dragon icon that you're going to see up here. I'm not sure where it appears on your mobile device, but it's going to look just like this. And upon clicking on that, it will tell you what stats have increased and by how much. That's pretty cool. And as you notice throughout the levels at the beginning of the game, it's going to tell you that you don't have access to the chests just yet. You need to get to level 4, and once you get to level 4 and you level up, you can just click on that little chest right there, which will then bring you right there. So all you got to do is click on that and then you can open up the thing now again this is completely separate from your dailies so make sure to keep opening up your dailies now as you notice i am at 100 out of 100 so if i was to put one more item into my inventory is going to max me right out it's it's actually going to go beyond max let's just grab another one just so I can demonstrate. Now, what you can do to get rid of the stuff that's in your inventory is, of course, delete them or sell them, something. That is a really cool helmet. And there we go. So I got another thing, and there we go. Oh, wait a minute. What the? Now it says 102. Right, because of the pet feed. Okay, my mistake. But anyways, there you go. So now I am above my limit. Now, this is only temporary. So, like I said, you got to bank the stuff if you want to get more stuff into your inventory because if you're trying to pick up a drop or something you're not going to get it if it's going to be above your cap if you guys had seen my last video i talked about the battle concert that's going to be coming we get a little bit more detail into that this is going to be the first battle concert to feature parkour 
portals and titan fights so that's going to be pretty cool now this is going to be available to anybody who wants to play it it's not going to be level locked or anything like that or it's not going to be too difficult for anybody to not be able to enjoy it to the fullest also here's a sneak peek image at some of the stuff that Dej has been working on and I am assuming this is most likely got something to do with the upcoming battle concert. Another thing I also want to point out was look very carefully at my character and you're going to notice that he's blinking. And this is something that was just released with this update and I gotta say that is really cool this only works with default faces so if you have on visage or something that changes your visual appearance your character is not going to blink it only blinks on the default faces so that's why you can see my character here is blinking but if i was to put on my raven head it's the raven does not blink now let's jump back over to battle on because i still got one more thing to show you once you're in Battleon, talk to Saber, and if you don't know where Saber is, she's right at the beginning of Battleon, right at the entrance. And of course, you've got your Lunar New Year shop, which I already covered, and this as well. But did you know there is a specialty items shop? Now, this is only around for a little while, but check this out. You have a koala cape. A cape to celebrate the heroes who put everything on the line to save the wildlife and habitats for the devastating Australian wildfires. Now these are currently ongoing, so look at that. That, it's their little tribute. And that is really nice cape and a very nice gesture. On the lighter side of things, you've got the big game cape. This is not about hunting, this is about the big game as in the Super Bowl. So this is more for Americans or North Americans, I guess, who watch the Super Bowl. I guess anybody from anywhere can watch the Super Bowl. But then you have this football. That is a really cool idea. Don't really care for the color, but I guess it makes sense because it is kind of football colored. So these only cost one gold. So if you are wanting these specialty items that are not going to be around permanently, at least I don't think so. I'm pretty sure these are going to be seasonal. Well, this one here might be available forever. But this one here, I highly doubt. It's most likely going to return every Super Bowl. But I really like that Koala Cape. That is really cool. Jumping into the game plan really quickly, we got the, well, Breaking Benjamin all almost coming up there on the 18th. And we've got the Heartwood Forest 2.0 that's going to be coming as well. They're working on it right now. They got the dungeon and special event scaling. Now, this is being tested on the PTR. If you did not see my last video, it does show some of this scaling in motion. So you can go and check that out if you want. Link is in the top right corner. And with this whole scaling thing there's a little bit more added what do you guys think it would be like if all of the maps were to scale what do you think that would be like now here's how the scaling system worked because i was also extremely confused when it came to the scaling system i'm a level 29 fighting against a level 27 and there's a level 4 right beside me fighting against the same monster as me is he seeing the level 27 and how is he defeating it the same as i am or is he seeing a different level the answer is he's seen his level so if he's a level four he's seeing like level three or something and same with the hp he's seen his hp he's seen what hp that would have but i'm seeing the hp that it would be for level 27. upcoming town and quest improvements now this is new gold and leveled weapon armor and item shops in the town square and i'm not sure exactly what that's going to be but that'll be interesting book of lore now this is the menu the main menu if you saw my last video went into detail about that new update they want to do to the main menu new emotes are going to be coming and that's always cool i like the different emotes that they've got in the game and you can always use more world loot tables now this is going to be one of those really interesting updates because i'm not exactly sure what that means but it's items for your character no matter what your level then you have the dungeons at scale from one to five players in difficulty based on your party 
And this is actually a really cool idea. So if you have five people in the dungeon, it's going to be scaled to that. And there are a lot of other games that do that style of gameplay, which definitely works. And that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.